And welcome back to yet another awesome arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which we're going to learn the classic Kate Bush song, Running Up That Hill. Yep, for all you Stranger Things enthusiasts who bombarded me with your emails, here we go. It goes like this. I'm going to play it for you first, and then we're going to break it down, lick by lick, note by note, with tabs right here on the screen. It goes like this. Enjoy. Basically, besides a capo on the third fret, is a basic guitar knowledge of open position chords. A minor, F, yeah, you can put on the bar F, you can put on the beginner F, doesn't really matter. G, C, E minor, okay? It's all open position chords. So put a capo on the third fret, and before we jump into the tab, into the fingerstyle tab, let me remind you of the guitar giveaway that's going on right now here on Lick and Riff. The details are in the description. The summer giveaway, the summer guitar giveaway is on right now, so check it out in the description below. All right, when you go download the tab, Okay, the tabs are for free here on Lick and Riff, always. Um, all right, so you put on A minor, okay, for the intro. You play A minor, okay, any way you want to. All right, now the rhythm that I'm playing is something like this. Okay, it's kind of a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two rhythm, but you don't have to do what I do. Okay, I want you to find a way to play this arrangement your way. So play A minor any way you're comfortable with. Okay, and you start with three zero on the first string. Okay, get used to it. You're gonna play three and zero quite often uh, during this uh, lesson. Okay, three zero on the first string, and then you put on F, and the note is inside the chord. It's two on the third string. Okay, so 
If you put on the beginner F, it's there. If you put on the barred F, it's there. Uh, so I play strings two, three, and four as my chord. Now, as a fingerstyle player, I also use my thumb for one on the bass. Okay, that's how I put on the F chord, and that gives me the option to solo on the first string while having the chord on. So, and then 3-0 again on the first string. And then you have G with two on the third string. Okay, so I play this, and then I open the third string, okay, just for uh, variety, okay, just to give that G chord feel. So, okay, F. Okay, G. The note, okay, the melody note is two, but I play two zero. You can just play two if you want. And then you have three zero again on the third, on the first string. And then you have A minor with 0, 2 on the third string. Now, the keen-eared among you hear that I am playing the chord before the bass. Okay, that's called syncopation. I'm playing the chord before the bass. Okay, I'm playing the chord and then the bass. So you can use this musical tool as well if you want to, okay? But again, don't confuse yourself. If you're a beginner, don't worry about syncopation. Okay, you can play the bass right with the chord. You don't have to worry about syncopation. Now after A minor, there's another solo melody. Okay, this, it's zero to two again on the third string. This time you hammer it on. And then you play the second string on one. And then you have kind of a reducted version of the main melody. So it's F, G, and A minor again, but this time you don't play three zero on the first string, you just play three. So it's... Okay, it's just three on the first string, two on the third string, and then the rest of the chord or the bass. And then you have the open E string, and you have A minor with three, one on the second string, and then two on the third. Okay, so it's... All right, so that's the second half of the intro, just three instead of three zero. Surprise, surprise, it's the same chords. It's F, G, and A minor. So you play 0, 3, 0 on the first string. I'm gonna explain why in a second. And you have F with it. Okay? Now, if you want to follow the lyrics verbatim, it's... Okay, it's 0, 0, 0, 3, 0. But this is a fingerstyle arrangement. This is an instrumental. So you don't have to follow the lyrics verbatim, okay, note for note. Sometimes just giving the gist of the lyric is enough. Okay, so I'm playing 0, 3, 0 on the first string with F. And then immediately, okay, that yeah, yeah, go. Oh. On, uh, in the background there. So it's G with one zero on the second string. And then it's A minor with the open third string. Okay, this is A minor seven. And then you have, okay, it's zero three zero again on the first string, but with E minor. So you don't have to put anything on because E minor in finger style is strings one, two, three, and six, all open. So you just pick it. And then you can play F or you can just play two on the third string with the F bass. Okay, you can play the whole chord if you want, but you can just play the note if you want, two on the third string. And then you have the same G and A minor seven line. And then you have E minor, F, 
and G, all of them, with zero three on the first string. Okay, so it's zero three on the first string into E minor, and then it's the same zero three into F, and then it's zero three into G. And then you play the open E string. And then it's the third string open with A minor. Okay, for A minor seven again. It's Kate Bush, it's not my fault. <laughs> it's Kate Bush, she, she loves to play around with added bars and added extra lines in there and just toying with your sense of timing. Okay, so I'm not to blame here. I'm just the messenger. Right, so uh, you have E minor again with, okay, it's three, three, one, zero. Now you can pull it off on the one, you can pull it off on the three, you can pull off both of them, okay? Any way you wanna play it. And then you have this. Okay, it's three, three into F, and then one, one, okay? Three, three, one, one on the second string. And then you have G with three on the second string. So it's. Okay? And then you have this. Okay? You. Okay, so it's. Here you have an extra chord. Okay, it's D minor over F. So you play F and you have three zero. So I suggest either the beginner F, okay, so you can open the first ring, or the finger style F. Okay, now immediately afterwards you play a C chord. Okay, so you can do this. Okay, just the bass afterwards. You don't have to play the chord. Because then you have one on the second string, so you can use that to play the chord. Got it? F and C. And then you have this. It's D minor, but I don't play the whole chord. I play strings two, three, and four with one on the bass. This creates D minor over F which kind of creates a variation on the sound of the F chord. So it kind of creates a mixture of D minor and F6. So I find it beautiful and that's what I used for this arrangement instead of playing this. Okay, a normal guitar player D minor sound. Okay, because this kind of feels out of place for me. Doesn't sound right. And this sounds a lot more, um, a lot more organic for the original synthesizer sound. Okay, and then you play F and C again into D minor over F, and then you add another note at the end. Okay, so you're in D minor, okay, and you play 3-1 on the second string. Okay, so it's F, C, and then D minor over F, 3-3-1 on the second string. Then you have the chorus. The chorus is F, so you're in position, okay, so, okay, it's 3-3-0 three, three, on the first string. Now, again, it's a reducted version. You can play... Okay, three, 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 zero if you want. I think it's a little too much. Okay, I think the redacted version works beautifully on the guitar because, okay, it's the same note. It's the same string. And then you have G and it's three, three on the first string and the open second string. And then you have A minor and it's three, three, zero again on the first string. And then it's 0-2 on the 3rd, and 
the open E string again. So uh, you play the F and G lines again. And then you have A minor, three, three, zero, and then three. Okay, and then you have Okay, three, three, zero, zero into F. Technically into F major seven. F with the open E string. Okay, if I only could. The chorus is very, very easy. And then it rolls back into the intro. And you can play another verse, another chorus, and then you have the bridge. The bridge is also pretty easy. It's F with one, 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 three on the second string. Okay, so it's. And then it's G with three, three, three on the second string and the open first. Okay. Okay, uh, you can play it barred, but if you play it barred, you have to let go of the bar. So I suggest playing the G like this. Okay, so it's. have it's a minor it's all on a minor and you play three one zero on the first one three three on the second open first one on the second then you have F G again okay exactly the same and then you have a minor three one zero on the first and then one, three, three, pull off to one. Okay, so it's. And then F, G, and A minor. And then it's the intro from the second F. Okay, just the ending of the intro. You can end there or you can play another chorus. Okay, it's up to you now. Download the tab for free. The link is below in the description. All tabs on Lick and Ref are for free, always. And while you're there, scroll down and check out the uh, summer enrollment to my Break Your Boundaries program, including the guitar giveaway raffle. So I'll see you in the next video, the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now. Have fun. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.